Good morning, sir. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is Tom Palakudio. Okay. Uh, and I work for Watrade. Okay. And, and what's your role at Watrade? In Watrade, I oversee Watrade's work in the Asia region. Okay. So currently in Asia, we work in Bangladesh, mm -hmm. India, mm -hmm. Pakistan, and Nepal. Uh -huh. So I make uh, frequent visits to the country program to see how our staff are, how our program is going on, and how our partners are working. And also I spend quite some time in networking, in mm -hmm. in promoting and encouraging working with other organizations. Mm -hmm. Because in what trade we are very convinced that uh, precisely because of the immensity of the challenge that we are dealing with, mm -hmm. sanitation and water, no agency on their own can do that adequately. Mm -hmm. Therefore we necessarily need to collaborate, we necessarily need to join hands. So when I go to the region, I also use that opportunity to meet up with our colleagues and collaborating organizations and also at the same time also to get a good feel and grip of what is happening on the ground yeah. because that is also important that uh, we may have good policies we might have uh, very good uh, uh, intentions mm -hmm. but are we able to translate these good intentions and policies on the ground okay. and are we able to make a difference in the lives of the people so you are here mainly for networking or you, do you normally come here for... No, I come here both to contribute to thinking and uh, understanding and therefore this week we had a seminar organized together with the Collaborative Council and Water Aid on how can we make the sanitation approaches an inclusive approaches. Mm -hmm. We talk about various approaches but to what extent can we say that this approaches also includes people and communities who are marginalized, who are in the margins of the society. So that was on Monday mm -hmm. and I made a presentation of the findings that we had from a three country study we made in 2008 mm -hmm. on how community-led total sanitation is progressing. Can we say that this is really making sure that even the poorest in the community is also included and therefore they also get the benefit of water and sanitation and improved health conditions. So that study was based in Bangladesh, Nepal and, uh, and uh, Nigeria. And uh, so then in addition to contributing to the seminars, Obviously, it's also time to meet up with the uh, collaborating organizations, as I said. So it is for bo both for learning better ways of doing things, but also cementing and consolidating the commitment to collaborate with the other organizations. So what's your message to the people who have come here for this conference? The message for us, uh, the, my, my message would be that we need to continuously learn better ways of doing things in order to be effective and forums like this gives an opportunity to hear about what others have done so that we don't end up reinventing the wheel mm -hmm. and therefore water aid from water aid's point of view if there are some good and promising experiences that we have this is an opportunity for us to share and likewise to listen to what others have also been doing that is and second message is that in this we have to work together and only then we can be we are able to make a difference, work together with the governments, work together with the NGOs, work together with the academic institutions and work together with the media. So I think uh, so. It is, uh, that is the message. This is a common endeavor and in this common endeavor we have to work together so that the poor people who cannot come to Stockholm, who don't attend conferences, have a chance to live a better and more holistic and more dignified lives. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.